All right, guys, I'm out here at uh, the Toro Weep. The Toro Weep Overlook. I finally got a break in the weather and a uh, chance to get out and take some pictures without getting my camera wet. All right, let's head on over there on foot. Yeah, always remember to bring proper footwear. I get a little spooked getting towards the edge here, so we'll just see how far we can go. Spooked, spooked man, spooked. One wrong move, you know? If you want to end it all, this would be the place to be. Yeah. Yesterday I saw a couple rafters going by. Uh, I didn't have my binoculars with me at the time, so I don't know whether they're rafters or kayakers or canoeists or trash floating down the LA River, but yeah. Yeah, they say it's about 3,000 feet down below. Yeah, look out below. Well guys, that is one view of the Grand Canyon. Yeah, this is Toro Weep Overlook. Spectacular, amazing, uh, incredible. Uh, what, what else can I say, you know? The, the deepest holes we dig in my business are about nine feet. So, this is just uh, unbelievable, yeah. I've seen uh, today, I've seen more people being that it's Friday. I, I expect to see more people coming up for the weekend. 
how many is a lot I don't know we're, we're after uh, we're at the end of the summer holiday so that was my reason for coming up is that the holiday season is over less people no crowds nice and quiet So we're going to head on back to my truck, which is over that way somewhere. And, uh, have a cold one, yeah! And then we'll think of where to go next. So I'm walking along the rim here. Looks fairly safe, right? how close it is right here. Well, I hope you can see better than I can. Yeah, watch where you're walking out here. Well, I heard another truck pull up to the uh, parking area back there. Now I hear some crying kids, so I'm trying to get away from them. Around the rim here, do a little hike, have a few beers for the rest of my ice melts. It's getting thin. It's got to be careful where you're going, though. It's, uh, I got the boots on here because I expected to hike for a little ways. Woo! Yeah. Holy cow, long ways down. So I'm going to uh, head on over this way, try to leave the tourists here, leave the tourists behind me. Hey, what's this big crack for here? Is this rock about to crack off and fall into the canyon? Shoot. So I hope I got enough memory and batteries here, but we're just cruising along. I'm actually not that far off the main road. It breaks you into a... Uh, the overlook. I'm just following the canyon. Got my hiking boots on this time. Got my ice chest full of beer. We're just gonna go and find a quiet spot to relax and take in the sights. Trying to get away from the tourists back there. It's quite interesting. Like getting nooks to the edge like this. According to my book, it's uh, 3,000 feet down. Yeah. 3,000 foot drop down to the Colorado River. So uh, I'm up here. Let's go uh, walk out here and see what it looks like. Alright, one last thing before I leave here. Am I in the picture? I hope so. Can you hear me? The wind's blowing a little. But a lot of people want to know why do I drive why do I drive a four-wheel drive? I drive a four x four 
to get to places like this. Away from the crowds, uh, away from the tourists. It's just, uh, there's nothing like being out here. It's quiet. There's no trash, there's no graffiti. Um, pretty much on your own. I haven't seen a ranger or sheriff or anybody. I haven't heard sirens or the people in the campground that have been there. Very quiet, you know, they're not the, the yahoos, you know, the yahoos you run into when you go to a crowded camping spot. You know, they're blaring music all night long and getting loud and crazy. This is it. This is what it's meant. This is what it's all about. Got to have yourself a good four-wheel drive vehicle to get out here. Um, just for dependability's sake, yeah, to make sure you can make it back home. All right, check it out. There's a boat or something out there going by. I tell you, it's a boat. I hear a motor going. Just barely caught him right now. Let's see if I can zoom in before he gets behind my... I hear a motor. It's like a big raft. Doggone it. You know, I knew it. When I put the good camera away, I was going to sit back here and just have a few beers, enjoy the scenery. Something would come by. Something would come up. Haven't seen no more tourists show up. Like I said yesterday, I saw a couple. I think they were, uh, hmm, from up here. Could have been rafts.